Hello everybody and welcome to the first in a Let's Build and Let's Program series by me, your favourite tool, Glitcher. What do you mean I'm not your favourite? Yeah. Which one's your favourite? The one the one with the moustache or the one with the... never mind. Anyway, so in this episode or in this series of episodes I'm going to be making a touchpad. Well, I've not figured out how to open it yet or I've not decided how to open it yet, but I'm going to be making a secret door that opens in some cool way. So I'm either thinking key card, where you have to put your key into a little slot, like a disk drive, or um, a like touchpad sort of system. So you sort of like, there's numbers on a screen, and you just right click on the numbers you want. You guys let me know which you think is the best option uh, in the comments below. So at this point, I've forgotten I, I forgot to get some iron. I thought I prepared everything I would need for this episode. Um, but obviously I haven't because I'm a fool. So, in fact, anytime this happens from now on, I'm going to do a little animation that like, gets all sort of cool so you don't have to watch me run off to get it ready. Because this is annoying. <laughs> oh, silly Jones. Right, let's get back to it. So I'm going to use these covers to make sure that the frames don't stick to anything. So that's like pretty much the most important thing you need to do with covers. So I'm checking how wide it is. Figure out what I need to do. So yeah, you stick the covers down anywhere. Any any uh, block that touches a frame with a cover on it doesn't stick to the um, to the frame. So it won't stick there. What you've done there. But it will stick on those. And that's what I want. Okay, so I'm putting there just so it looks nice. Conversely, if you use panels, anything that touches a panel stuck to a frame um, will stick. I'm not entirely sure what the point in that is. I think that's more for um, obvious uh, non-block items or sub-block sub -block items. Whoops. Good job there. So I'm going to get the computer out now. Like I've sort of assumed I'm going to go for the touchpad, but it's easy enough to change. So if you guys think we should be doing a uh, key card, or maybe both, you know, maybe you need the key card and a code. That'd be pretty cool. But it's going to make it really long-winded to get into the base. Maybe I'll add a secret way, a secret secret way, a double secret way that only lets me and Bunts in. Like maybe checks our names and lets us just teleports us in. That'd be pretty cool. Okay. So now I'm trying to break those blocks underneath. Make sure that it'll actually open. There we go. And one more there. Perfect. So that should all work now. They should open up whenever I do it. So now I'm making a column of frames that I can use to pull the um, to pull the door down from underneath. This is pretty standard practice for when you want to do something from sort of like a a distance away instead of having the frame motors visible. This just means it's going to look nicer. So, just cover it with frame motors. Now I'm not having much fun with these flipping um, with this jetpack because the, the hover button's not working so I'm getting really frustrated with it. So, for some reason I just put a cover on the bottom that's going to really annoy me later. Because that column is nowhere near long enough. Not that one. That one doesn't count because it's that was for standing. Oh, I'm very popular on Steam tonight. Uh, I should probably tell him I'm not busy. Uh, I'm busy. Bear with me. Recording. Sticky out to my face. There we go. Okay. So, where was I? Okay, right. So... Just fill in that gap. Put the back, don't need that. Look how cute. Look, inventory management, everybody. I am capable of it. Let's just stick the computer in there. It's that stupid monitor bug. But luckily this one goes away when you put a computer behind it. Now, advanced, mon uh, advanced computers and advanced monitors um, let you have colour and touch screen. Um... In later versions of computer craft, you can actually place monitors on the floor or ceiling so they point down. So I'm not pretty happy. Okay, so I'm back. I've got the, uh, the bundle cable. Thank you for being so patient. 
just get the bundle cable there. So obviously, as you already know, the bundle cable is used for bundling bundling cables together so that you can have multiple cables on one block. And my jetpack. Um, what just happened there? Okay, so I'm trying to figure out what I'm doing. I'm really not having a good time with it, am I? Ah, there you go. I figured out that I've flipping broken that thing. I need to break that cover. Okay, so stick the frames down. Come on, Jones, you're quicker than this. Ah, <laughs> oh. <laughs> this is painful to watch. Why are you watching this? Everything went wrong. Yeah, when you're flying, the covers just tend not to go where you want them to go, so it's really frustrating. So I'm going to put the motors down. Okay, so you always put, I always tend to put the the frame motor that pushes it up one below its um, highest point. So, uh, sorry, one below its lowest point. No, one below its point um, at its highest. So it can't push it any higher than it needs to go, if you understand me. And then another good thing is to place... Um, what am I doing? Let's <laughs> just turn the computer off. Um, so another good thing is to place a block underneath the... Um, uh, the frames at the lowest point. So now I need to get some power over to it. So look at I set up these thermal piles a couple of episodes ago. So now I can get some lovely blue tricity. Over there. Bunce is going to hate me for this cable work, but... Pff, oh well. So, <laughs> as you can see, I quite like the whole yellow and black motif. So I'm kind of carrying on with that. So the nice thing about frame motors is that they let power travel through them, so you can um, you only have to hook power into one of them, and the power travels through them, which is very very helpful. Now, watch as I realise I've made a grave mistake and started with the wrong colour on this side. Watch, keep watching, it's going to be hilarious. It's depressing and hilarious at the same time. Here it comes. Black, yellow, black, yellow, black. Oh, they're both black. God damn it. Yep, I'm going to obsess over this. I'm so angry. <laughs> that camera shake there. And they're, like, they're both yellow and it just looks awful. I'm so angry looking, shaking my head. <laughs> It's not connecting for something. So I'm trying to fix it, look. But totally the wrong way. That's not going to work either, you fool. Uh, yep. So I'm like, sod it. I'll fix it later. I'll fix it in post. I took my anger out on those zombies, so that's okay. So my, <laughs> my OCD is proper flaring up about this now. <laughs> Uh, but then I realised I'm actually recording. I can't afford to just sit here getting obsessive about things. So I just hook the rest of this one up. And we can obsess about the colours of the cables later. Whoop. Try again, Jones. There we go. <laughs> oh, jetpack ran out of power. Let's get a bit more power. Pop that in there. Actually, do you know what? Yeah, this is going to take so long I'm going to do a little animation. Hold on. So the redstone torch. Put that in there. Power gun in. Yep. Power get! Ta da! Okay, so now I've got power. <laughs> now it's time to, uh, to get on. So let's get the cables in there. Okay, so I'm a little bit concerned as to what I'm, to, I'm still trying to figure out how to fix that stupid mistake but yeah I'm still um now I'm just trying to figure out why it's not connecting to the bottom of that frame motor but that's my own silly fault actually what the hell am I doing I think I'm just exploring now yeah? 
Oh, I want to get. <laughs> I need to get upstairs. I'm trying to find the fastest way upstairs into that room. <sighs> Deary me. This is a shambles of a video. So, okay, make a screwdriver real quick. Some iron. There we go, got a screwdriver. Ah, uh, that's it. Right, so I need the screwdriver to flip the um, the edge of the frame mower. Because the screwdriver is the tool of the choice for the for the blue trusty user. There we go. So a little trick I always remember with the frame motors is that little thing on the side. In a second, that thing that points the opposite direction of the mo of the travel. So the sort of little arrowy bit that's pointing down, which means it pushes up, and that one's pointing the one at the top's pointing up, which means it pushes down. So that's that's how I do it. Because a lot of times you can't see the arrows because there's things in the way of them because that's the whole point. Okay, so now I'm trying to figure out how I'm going to get the cables into it. So I'll put some covers down which you can place cables onto. Although you need to place cables. You need to be on the outer edge, not the inner edge. Jones, fool. There you go, so figured that out now. So now that's the outer edge, there you go. So I think I've just realised I'm going to need more. There we go. So, oh, that's foolish. So we're going to get the black and the white cable for up and down. There you go. And now we're going to hook in the yeah, not for much look there am I yeah the uh, bundle cable has to connect to a bundle cable rather than a, a plain colour cable <laughs> this is a shambles you'd be forgiven for thinking I wouldn't know what I'm doing it's at this really awkward point where there's a bug with the red power things where if you try to place an object down and that's skeleton on me ah skeleton there we go finally we can rest easy okay so the bundle cable's down bundle the jacketed bundle cables attached to it oh we're in business computer is hooked up to the motors oh OCD there we go okay so that's hooked in. It looks all. It looks lovely. It look, oh, it's oh, it's so lovely. So, <laughs> so lovely. I'm changing it. Yep. Except it won't work like that, Liam. You're an idiot. There we go. Try it like that. There we go. There we go. That's a bit nicer. Because that's the most important thing when you're doing something like this. Is how nice it looks. Why did I drop that? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm awful at this. This music's lovely. So, now I've got a problem with that, is that the um, blocks have to come down further, so I've made everything to flipping high. Great. So, this is why planning is important. Now I've broken the frames. <laughs> this is why Bunce builds everything in the ha in the base, by the way. Because I'm rubbish at it. Okay, so I'm just fixing everything. Stick some more frame covers on. There you go. Last one. Thank God for that. Alright, so... Now that everything's been lowered by one block, you would have thought I'd been clever enough to change those cables around, because now they should be the right colours, but nope. Okay, power's coming through, which is always nice. There you go. So when you're flipping, when you're right-clicking on a uh, frame motor, you can hold down Shift, and it changes what you're doing. So by default, when you right-click, it just changes the direction. It's, uh, it's uh, the arrows facing without rotating the actual object itself. But when you hold down Shift, it rotates it by other axes. So if you change what face is the actual working face. 
Okay, so just cover that up for the sake. Except it didn't work. Which is lovely. There we go. Okay, so I'm quite happy with that. That looks alright. Seems to be functional. Let's get some more covers. Oh no, we're getting we're getting some uh, we're gonna make it nice now. No we're not. No, we're still just getting more covers. Ah there you go. Yeah, get some um some iron posts, which make it look like it's not just floating. Cause that's never good. I think just floats. It has supports. So let's put some supports on there, make it look a little less silly. He says building something like that. It doesn't look lovely. But it's functional, damn it. It's not gonna fall down on my watch. There we go, see? Professionally done. Stop laughing. Okay, so... Now I'm trying to figure out whether I'm going to probably program it real quick and then I realised, ah, oh, it's going to be boring as hell to watch me program without properly preparing. So what I'm going to do is do the second secret door because I want to make this sort of like an airlock. So you go in one and you come through the other. And no, not the two doors never open at the same time. And that means if someone manages to get the code, and then they come in, I can uh, I can set a trap up in there that kills them, or hurts them very badly. You know, I'm I'm a nice guy. I'm not a monster. So we start one lower. So that means I don't have to play around with breaking objects, uh, breaking frames, uh, breaking the blocks around the frames to put covers on them. Oh, and we've run out of iron again, so let's get some iron! Okay, so that's more iron. Okay, so we're just basically I'm doing the same thing again for this door. It's pretty simple, massively boring. So, my sincere apologies. <laughs> Okay. I don't think there's any need for having a column on this because it's just literally it's mostly underground anyway except there will need to be a column on there I've not made it tall enough that it doesn't need a column I'll realise this in a second <laughs> okay so counting the number of spaces three oh god skeleton Die. Yep, so I've realised it's three. I've only made that many. I need another at the bottom. Yep. So obviously get rid of the cover panel first. Cover panel? Cover first. There you go. Stick some more covers on there. There you go. So now... With a bit of luck, we'll put some frame motors down. Although I've only brought two colours of cable, I think, so I'm going to have to go get a couple more. There you go. Okay, so they're facing the right direction. And I'm just figuring out how to get the cables across. Or have I realised I've put them too high? No, I haven't put them too high. Yeah, I'm just figuring out how to get the cables across, so... Ah, uh, yeah, the power cable needs to come across, of course it does. But now I'm like, oh, but if I do this, then it means that I'll have no reason to... Oh, there's that... Oh, run out of power. Ah! So there's that lovely bug. Every time you... There you go. Sometimes they just disappear. Here we go. Here we go. Power going in. So now I'm sort of <laughs> OCD, sort of like, oh, now that I've done that, it's going to be even harder to change. <laughs> I'm trying to fix the cable colours. Oh, it's yellow. <laughs> so angry. No, that's not going to work, you fool. 
<laughs> oh, that was a bad day. This is probably the worst day of my life. <laughs> Let's break this, ex this extra cable anyway. Makes me feel better. <laughs> I hope everybody's OCD is screaming at me. Okay, so I'm just doing the uh, bundle cable now. In a second, I'm going to realize that I'm, I don't have the, enough different colored cables to do this. So... There you go. So if I'm going to do them through the same bundle cable, I'm going to need different colored cables. Which means coming over here to get some! Or make some! <laughs> Bundle oh, no cable, I'm in cable get. So we got some red and some green there. Luckily I found a bit of green. So this one. Red for down, green for up. Okay, so now I'm just gonna plop a bit of bundle cable here so we've got a way of testing it. Okay, so Black and white. I think it's white for down, black for up, I think. Yeah, I think so. Um, so now I need some buttons, don't I? I'm starving. Oh dear. Oh. So I'm going to be... I'm going to make some buttons. Buttons aren't slow. I'm not going to do an animation for buttons. Buttons, buttons, buttons. I need some blocks to put the buttons on. Let's get some cobble. Good old cobble. The classic. Never goes out of fashion, does cobble. Ah, oh, my bloody chest's in the way. Damn it, chest. Right, fine. <laughs> this terrible system I've set up for buttons. <laughs> this is getting more and more convoluted. Oh dear. And now I'm like, oh, but I'm going to need red wire now. It's not going to flip in work. <laughs> not working. <laughs> oh, I got some uh, white red wire. Hey, see? It's not working. <laughs> Sod it. I'm going to go get some levers. There we go. So much easier. Okay. All right, let's test all this now. So we've got everything set up. Hey, look, green works. Does that go all the way up? No, it doesn't. Why not? Because it's not long enough, you fool. So I'll put another frame on the bottom. Pretend no one noticed. I'm going to stick some more. Oh, Sunday. So you need to stick some more covers on that one. Who is this guy? He's rubbish, isn't he? But if I was doing this, I wouldn't make it take so flipping long about it. So move it down one. Luckily, they never stick to the working edge of a frame. So a frame motor will a frame will never stick to the working edge of a frame motor. So it means you can get away with little mistakes like that. So now this won't work. Now I've got a debug why it's not working. Oh, it's going down. Yay! Except the, except the top stuck. I forgot to sort that out. So I need some cover panels on those. There we go. And we'll get some more construction foam, some more sand. Stick that on there. Send it back up. Yay, secret door. Secret door, oh yeah. Oh, fell down. <laughs> right, so now let's make some more columns. Do some little like, cool supports for these bits. I can't really do it the other side, but it doesn't matter. It's supported already. It's fine. It's f it's fine. It's fine. If the safety inspector comes, we'll just we'll lie. We'll, we'll tell him it's supported. So we don't really want it to go that far down. So what we need to do is put a block underneath it to stop it from going further down than that, or that far down, should I say? So at the moment, I've just stuck some marble there, but I'll probably sort that out in a bit. In fact, I'll do it right now. So I'll do a little sort of 
platform thing that stops it from going, but it looks pretty cool. So we'll make, yeah, there you go, some strips. Yeah, everyone loves strips. So now, this is like purely for just making it look nice, but I think I've run out of iron, so <laughs> I definitely am gonna run out of iron. I haven't got very much. You know what that means, don't you? It means new iron animation. This is the most fiddliest build I've ever had to do. You can see me getting more and more frustrated as the project goes on. <laughs> Ooh, only 10 more, is it going to be enough? Is it? Is it? Is it? No, no, it's definitely not. Let's go get some iron! Iron get! So I think I'm getting bored of the whole iron thing now. There you go. Whoop. Pushed escape by accident. Oh, you no, I alt tabbed, that was it. I don't know how you accidentally alt tabbed, but there you are. I did it, I managed it. You know what? I think this jetpack of mine's gonna run out any moment now. Can't be much juice left in this sucker. Let's go. Oh, and that music means electricity again! So that music means, as you can guess, that it's the end of the episode. Just testing, make sure everything still works. Put it down. Check it out. Yeah, now I should put a platform under here. So, next episode, what we're going to be doing is um, actually starting to program everything in. I'll, I'll worry about making this look neat off camera. There's no point in making you guys sit through any more of that. But, um, yeah, I'm, uh, I've still yet to figure out how we're going to do it. Answers, answers in the comments to what sort of system you want. Maybe, maybe we'll have a key card for the inner door um, and a keypad for the outer door, maybe. You know, tell us what you think. Um, and uh, I'll figure out how I'm going to record the um, programming. Alright, thanks for watching.